Hiya, Pony fan. Welcome to another Friendship is Magic review. Today's episode is Three's a Crowd. The episode begins with Twilight preparing for a visit from Cadence. Meanwhile, Fluttershy is leaving town to observe Momrats or something. But no sooner does her royal pinkness show up than none other does Chaos Incarnate himself. And he's suffering from some exotic illness and in need of a little nursing. With Fluttershy off in Wonderland, the proper care and feeding of malevolent tricksters falls to Princess Twily and by extension Bestie Cadence. So instead of touring a traveling expose of Star Swirl the Bearded's enchanted paperweights, the aristocracy has to spend all day dealing with Discord and his song and dance numbers. But there's a way to get rid of the anarchic freeloader. On the edge of Equestria there grows a magic flower that can be used to brew a healing tea that'll cure what ails discord. They got a tea that cures whole. But there's a catch. Okay, a couple of catches. The flower is the size of a beanstalk and it has a sandworm living under it. So after a brutal smackdown of the local wildlife, it turns out that discord was faking sick. To the surprise of absolutely no one. This episode is pretty alright. Let's just drop the subtlety right up front that this is anything other than the Discord show. He dominates this episode like Darkseid dominates Apocalypse. With an iron fist. He aggressively inserts himself into just about every scene, and it's awesome. Q's on-screen anarchy ranges from Miyazaki-esque whimsy to The Simpsons-esque pop culture references. John Delancey is fantastic as always in the role. He has great energy and comic timing, and you're never sure if he's mischievous or malicious. I'm a bit torn on his song, though. When it really gets going, it's great, but it tends to slow down and lose all its momentum pretty frequently. Also, I think the idea that everyone is just tolerating Discord's antics to avoid Equestria being burnt to the ground is just a riot. It was cool to see Twilight and Cadence hanging out again, but since this is the Discord show, you can forget about any development for Cadence. She's been around since Season 2, and I still don't have a read on her personality. Other than she's everyone's big sister. I sure as hell don't buy that Cadence picked a trip to the boring Museum of Unicorn History. Yeah, that has Twilight written all over it. The main six have great distinct personalities and individual interests, but Cadence is just kind of a blank. But she's nice. A nice blank. The rest of the gang puts in cameos, which is just how it ought to be. Dashie heads for the hills the moment Discord shows up. A wise decision on her part. Rarity and AJ get infected, so they're down for the count. Fluttershy's on safari, and Pinky's easily distracted. This episode is very, very strong humor-wise. Every pony pulls her weight, but there's an obvious standout in the comedy department. Used patio furniture. All I'm saying. Discord's humor ranges from non-sequiturs, to puns, to heavy snark and sarcasm, then topped off with a ridiculous load of pop culture references. There's Ricola, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Harry Potter, Star Wars 300, Flashdance, and Risky Business. Now let's talk about the action. There's one fight in Three's a Crowd, but it's a good one. It features not one, but two alicorn princesses fighting a sandworm. The likes of which not even Celestia has seen. It's not quite on par with the action scenes in Princess Twilight, but it was still nice to see. Three's a Crowd also has a lot of callbacks to the events in previous episodes. Like Star Swirl, the fact that Discord and Fluttershy are now pen pals, and there's a Flash Thompson, I mean Century cameo. I knew he'd be back. A 10 second appearance does not a torrid romance make. Well, okay. But we're watching you, mister. Now let's talk about the problems in Three's a Crowd. Discord is the sun in this episode's solar system. Everything revolves around him. The problem is, he's not the main character. This episode is about Twilight. And Discord is there to teach her that even though things don't go according to plan, that's still okay as long as you're with the people you care about. But that's pretty much the B-plot to Discord's Three Ring Circus. Dude needs to learn how to share. Baby steps, private. Baby steps. So now let's break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, Three's a Crowd. On the good side, Discord. Discord's antics, Discord's jokes, Discord's slightly deranged teaching style. And there may also have been some magical ponies at some point. Like quality supporting character performances from all of the main six and guest star Princess Cadence. On the other hand, the presence of MLP's resident superpower trickster completely derails the plot. And I'm not totally sold on that song. But that doesn't bother me too much, so I give My Little Pony, Three's a Crowd, four out of five. Thanks for watching, I'm the Stupid Private. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter four and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.